Hey everyone, welcome to Photo U. We're so glad that you're here with us tonight. We're gonna to talk about wall decor, ways to use your photos, your scrapbook products, all sorts of fun things for wall decor. And we have two lovely people here. <laughs> so we're gonna give both Amy and Debbie 25 points for coming on time. So if uh, you will chat your account number to Lisa E, She'll get those points into your account so that you can do some shopping and ordering, okay? But as I said, we're going to uh, work on some uh, wall decor things. So we're going to start off with our digital, and Brooke is going to do that for us. So I'm going to turn the time over to Brooke. Brooke, are you ready? I'm going to, you have to actually request the screen. Nothing popped up. Usually something pops up. Oh, because I make you host. That's what it is. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So if I share my screen, you should be seeing a PowerPoint. That is what we see. Yay. Okay. All right, so we're going to be going over some fun ways to decorate your homes or your offices or other living spaces with Longevity Photo products. So Stacey will talk a little bit about the hands-on side of things, but I'm going to cover both Heritage Makers and Snap to Finish, just fun digital ways to decorate, whether it's using your photos or making your own unique word art, anything like that to decorate your space. So we're gonna go room by room, basically within a house, just for some ideas with templates in Heritage Makers. So great fun ideas. So this first one is some ideas for maybe family or living rooms, those types of places where we all love to put family pictures, maybe our most recent nice looking family pictures or wedding photos, or even fun things like these established date uh, 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 signs that are very, very in right now and so much fun to have the date up on the wall or these are our house rules, anything like that. So lots and lots of fun ideas for the main living spaces that everyone sees every day. Uh, what about like your, your teen child's bedroom or even maybe preteen, just that non-child level, a uh, little more adult decor, but still super fun. So things like this fun selfie canvas that Lisa put together this past week. It says, sharing your life with family and friends, kind of as a definition for selfie. Really fun idea, or this fun wood print from last year sometime. I love this thing. It says, be a pineapple, stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet on the inside. Super fun. I, I love all these fun ideas, and we do have some great ideas for a little more masculine, maybe your teenage boys, not so much girly stuff. Uh, and then if we transition into kids rooms, there's super fun stuff. I'm going to say that a lot. Sorry. I'm around my kids all day and I tend to say super fun or super hot. So if I say super a lot, just, just go with it. But I love these fun kid themed ideas. So this is more of a, a poster maybe to take to school with all of your favorites on it. But if you did that, how much fun to bring it back home after and frame it and put it on the wall for the child to enjoy, to be able to look up and see, oh, there's my puppy or there's my family, my favorite things, this is all about me. Or a fun saying with a fun picture from your last family pictures that you did. Or this fun uh, definition of the word boy, the wildest of all animals, a noise with dirt on it, so precious to their mother. So true. Uh, these fun, I love these little chore charts. These are, you could do these either on a a paper print and put it in a frame with either a glass or the uh, UV coating on there that you can apply for free at checkout. Uh, or you could even do these on a metal print that automatically has that dry erase surface that are really great. I love doing the dry erase markers on the metal prints. It's one of my favorite things to do. So these are fun, just personalized with a picture, maybe a name, and easily just change up the chores on there and it's all ready to go, really easy. Uh, transitioning down into babies. So lots and lots of fun ideas, whether it's just a putting a name on a print that's already designed, these are great for gifts, or if you have so many pictures, we all take lots and lots of pictures of our kids, and a lot of fun to put those into a canvas for decoration. 
this one back here is actually my son and I have I have two little boys and I have one of these canvases for each of them and this is their first year so I've got one picture per month all the way up to 12 months and a newborn picture in the middle and it's got their stats it's got their names and I love having these in my hallway I walk past them every day and I'll just find myself staring at the pictures I love to sit and reminisce because how quickly do they change they go from this cute newborn baby stage so quickly into children and I love being able to look back on the baby stage even though we all go through that stage very hazy with the lack of sleep it's fun to look back on <laughs> okay uh, back to hallways so like I was saying that's where I keep those two canvases of my boys because I love walking past them so things like this where you could put pictures of each of your children something you want to see every day because we all walk through the hallway multiple times a day and you want to see something that you love something that makes you smile so whether it's the date and names of your family, maybe the state where you live, these are very, very trendy right now. We added a couple of new ones the past couple of days that are a little more trendy, not so much fancy, uh, but take a look at those. So we've got lots of fun state template ideas, and these are very, very easy to change out the state that you reside in. I'm actually going to show that a little bit tonight because it's really easy to do. So fun things to have in your hallway, something that you want to see multiple times a day because you will find yourself standing there in the hallway looking and reminiscing. Who doesn't spend at least a little bit of time in the kitchen every day? And how many fun things are there to be able to put up in the kitchen? So I love this one. It says homemade with love. In other words, I licked the spoon and just kept cooking. Super fun. Uh, this is one from a little while back. It says, I like hugs and I like kisses, but what I'd really love is help with the dishes. Just fun, fun things to make you smile. Or even, this is a, I believe this one is an 11 by 14 print. It might be a larger poster size. Either way, great to frame and have on the wall to be able to write out your menu for the week. Really easy to let each child pick what they want to eat one day a week if they wanted to. Just assign them a day and say, here, write what you want, and then put together the grocery list and go. So fun ideas. This one, there's a couple of new ones of these in the template gallery. This one's a little more, not necessarily masculine, but not super feminine. And then there's a feminine version with flowers and a butterfly and it's super cute. Um, but really easy to just change out this text and put a name on there. So it could be in grandpa's kitchen. It could be in Caroline's kitchen. It could be in Benjamin's kitchen, whoever's kitchen it is. Whoever it is that lives in the house that spends most of the time cooking or loves to cook, Something fun to just say, in so-and-so's kitchen, we lick the spoon, or in this kitchen, we have fun. In this kitchen, we love food. Really easy to just change out the text to whatever fits the home or the room that it's in. Just enjoy your decor. And I love being able to do that with Heritage Makers and Snap to Finish because you can really make it yours, as opposed to just whatever you happen to find at the store and go, oh, that's cute. I love being able to completely personalize the decor in my home. So these are some fun ideas that we came up with and then I've got we've got some really fun ideas that we got from people sending us their pictures of what they've done to decorate their home with Longevity products or to be more specific with uh, Longevity photo products. So these are a series of canvases and some wood prints that we made in Snap to Finish and Heritage Makers. I'm actually going to show you guys how I put this one together tonight. So be ready for that in snap to finish. But we put some photos on a couple of large canvases and then we had some fun coming up with this. So these are two canvases in snap to finish. So all four of these canvases were done in snap to finish. And then I was sitting there thinking how fun would wood prints be for this to add a little more texture to just give a different look and not such a uniform canvas look because we all love mixing different mediums to give a different visual appearance on the wall. So these are wood prints with just a natural finish. When you look at these in Heritage Makers and Studio, it's a white background with black text. That's all it is. But then when you get them, it's this gorgeous wood that gives a natural finish. And each of the wood prints, because it's wood, it has a different look to it. So you never know quite the, the wooden look you're going to get, what grain or what... Uh, I can't remember all of the wood terms, but gorgeous wood finish. And then I thought to myself, how much fun would it be to put a wooden background paper, a nice dark color 
on the wood print, but leave the words that natural finish. So that's what I did with these two. And I love the dark, rich color that it gives. So the sides are still this natural. And we've got a couple of pictures from, from other people who show the side of a wood print. It still shows that nice natural side. And you can tell that the words are not a true white. They're this natural wood. Because anything on a wood print, any surface, any part of the design that is white will come out natural like this. It makes pictures on wood prints absolutely gorgeous and interesting to look at. But how much fun is it to either enjoy the natural finish of the wood to give you some variety in the collage on your wall or to give that wood print a bit of texture and make it a little bit richer and really just make it pop. So these are three different versions of basically the same little collage layout, but each of them has different uh, personality to it. So choose something that will really make it you, or even make a couple of different versions and switch them out from time to time, or switch out the pictures here and there, and enjoy it. Just make it yours. So these are a few uh, actual pictures from people that we asked for submissions of, show us how you decorate your home with Longevity Photo products. So this is Lisa, Lisa's Lisa's house. I don't know if she wants to be telling her that, but this picture is absolutely gorgeous. So this is a photo canvas with a fun saying above it. Just really simple, putting a canvas, uh, putting a photo on canvas and even with some text, I, I don't know what this says here, but really can make a statement. You look at it on your wall and you see it and you remember and you think back on what day that was or your family or how young the kids were and you enjoy it. This is what I was talking about. This is an edge of a wood print here. So you can see that it gives the picture a nice, uh, kind of a bit of interest because it's not on a white background. So things tend to pop a little differently. The red on the pants here sticks out and you get this nice natural wood along the sides. Makes a great addition to a collage wall or a gallery wall, as you might've heard. These are all different canvases. There are some that are collages and some that are just pictures and you put them all together on the wall with a fun quote and it looks wonderful. I love that these create a nice square visual appearance. So with the love here, it squares it off. So you've got these two canvases here and a couple of other pieces that you can get from anywhere or that you already have and just make it a full, on, a full look. These are a couple of others. I love these travel pictures. Great way to remember your travels and your adventures or remembering someone that you love maybe who has passed away or a story of someone you love that you just want to cherish and hold tight. This is a scrap page in a frame and an absolutely gorgeous story behind it. Then this is, let's see, you've got, I think this is a metal print. Some of these are anthology products. It's actually a set and <laughs> Stacey, you'll have to forgive me if I don't remember the name of the set, uh, but with this cute arrow and the clipboard and all that, I love it and the Mickey head. This is, uh, I forget who submitted this one, but I love it. She said it was in her office and I love the gorgeous sunshiny yellow. How bright and fun and colorful to look at and just make you happy, especially maybe if it's your work office and you just need a little bit of a boost in the mornings or whenever you're working. I love that color. These are the last couple and these are actually from my house. Um, I've been meaning to redo this wall, but it's been, it's been up for a couple of years now and I still love it. Uh, I've got a couple of fun sayings that we love, some old family pictures, some newer family pictures that probably could be replaced, uh, an established canvas with our monogram, and a picture of, which picture? And then this is from my son's room from when he was, when he was a baby. He's still in his crib, but he's probably getting close to moving in with his brother. So I designed this when I was pregnant, and I love it. And it just has his name and a couple of fun sayings. These are 12 by 12 canvases, really easy to just hang next to each other and they look great on, oop, they disappeared. They look great on that striped wall. I love it. So really fun and easy, play around with it and just make it yours. I know I say that a lot, but it's true. Uh, you can do absolutely anything with these digital products in both Heritage Makers and Snap to Finish. So get an idea whether it's off of Pinterest. I'm actually gonna jump over there I'm going to talk about some places where we might find inspiration. So 
whether it's places like Pinterest or maybe looking through magazines, maybe you go to someone's house and you go, wow, I really like what you did with that wall there. And maybe you snap a picture with your phone because we all have cameras in our pockets now, take a picture and go, wow, I think I could do something kind of like that at my house. So wherever you find your inspiration, like we talked about in last month's class, find something that sparks your interest and makes you think and make it your own. So, excuse me. Uh, I wanted to hop onto Pinterest here because you can search all kinds of different things on Pinterest and come up with lots and lots and lots of inspiration. So this, I searched canvas collage and you get all kinds of different layout ideas and a lot of these will give you the size. So for example, in this one, so like this 12 by 12, 12 by 12 and 16 by 24, you could easily do that in Heritage Makers or most of those or with our different sizes in snap to finish. So figure out a layout that you like and then just order the pieces to fit that size. You can also find ideas for maybe designing something that just has a lot of pictures on one thing. So if you're like me and you take a lot of pictures and you don't want to have a lot of huge things on your wall, maybe just combine several of the pictures into one piece. So there are lots of different ideas that you can get here on Pinterest. You can also search things like gallery wall. Uh, this is a very, very on trend thing that people are doing. I love these fun, just kind of hodgepodge walls. And you'll find when you look through pictures, it helps to have some kind of a layout. So you'll find people that show tips on how to lay it out so that it looks cohesive. But how easy would it be to create some of these pieces in Heritage Makers or Snap to Finish. Very, very quickly, maybe to have some of your pictures, you could replace a couple of these with canvases or some wood prints, maybe a shaped metal print and really make it something that you will look at every day and love. So lots of good inspiration on here. I wanted to show you one idea that we saw and absolutely loved and how easy would this be to make with canvases, metal prints or wood prints or even framed, uh, paper prints, really easy and really fun. And I found a couple of other variations of this. So you basically just got solid pictures and then a couple of plain ones with words, maybe words that are special to your family, or it could be names. You could have family member names on these, but really simple and easy. And how quick and easy would it be to switch out some of these pictures here and there? So maybe these are eight by eight canvases and every once in a while you just order a couple of new canvases and swap them out. So really fun ideas, all that can be achieved very quickly and easily with any of the Longevity digital products. So I loved the couple of variations on that idea. And really that shows that you can take a concept that you really like or really feel inspired by and make it your own. Do something that you will enjoy or that your family will like to see on the wall. So I wanted to just show a couple of those and wow, we're going through time. Okay. We're going to hop over into snap to finish and I'm going to show a couple of things in there and then a couple over in heritage makers. And then we will give Stacy some time with the hands on. So we're going to show home decor products and I'm going to just jump really quick into a canvas. So I'm going to put canvases. And I love, can I just say, I love in Snap to Finish that when you select a product like this that has multiple different sizes, it shows this lovely visual and you can see, okay, comparatively, how big are some of these? So you can look at, okay, so there's a 24 by 36 compared to a 20 by 20. So let's play around with a 12 by 12, just to simplify. I'm gonna click get started. And then it's going to give me a couple of options to get started with. I'm going to go with full size photo. This would be really easy if you've already got some pictures uploaded in any size of any of these decor products, uh, just to grab a picture, pop it onto a canvas and finish it and be done. So you could order several different canvases or wood prints or anything like that here on snap to finish very quickly just by popping the pictures in and adding to cart when you're obviously when you're ready. A couple things to take notice of. So this is a canvas. You'll notice these squares cut out of the edges. 
So this is actually non-visible space, and this portion right here on each of these, these strips, is what will be wrapped around the edges of the canvas. So if I were to leave this picture where it popped in, her face is gonna be wrapped around the edge of the canvas, which is obviously not what we would want if we're hanging it on the wall. Unless maybe you're, you've got a uh, divorced couple and you're trying to cut someone out of the picture. Other than that, I don't recommend it. Try to keep people, especially focal points of the picture, in the center of the canvas so that you get nice clean edges and nobody important being cut off around the edge. So just something to be aware of. Now I wanted to show you guys how I made this canvas here in Snap to Finish. I loved this idea. Uh, we found these three black and white pictures and I, I just, I love this. So I'm going to actually delete this picture off of here. It gives me a nice blank space. And then I'm going to go to layout. So I want to choose a layout. And there are several different options here. Some with a white border. This is inside of the wrap area. It'll give you a border on the face of the canvas and some without. I'm gonna pick this nice four picture, perfectly square layout. And then I'm going to go to my pictures. And yes, they are in this folder. And we're just gonna pop these into a couple of the spaces. And give them a minute to load because they are a little bit larger. And this fourth one, I'm just going to delete off of here. So it gives me a blank corner of the canvas that just has a nice white background, which with these black and white pictures looks absolutely gorgeous. Now, some of these I'm going to adjust just a little bit to bring these people closer to the center of the canvas because her face right here is off of the edge. I'm gonna bring this in a little bit, a little more, and just adjust these so that they're each where I want them. Make sure that looks good. So I've got my pictures easily placed, that was really quick. And then I'm just going to go down to this white space and I'm gonna pick from the clip art. Now let's see, I think I found that wreath portion, yep, in here. So I'm gonna find a piece that I like. It could be absolutely any of these. I just really liked the black and white appearance of this laurel leaf design. And I'm gonna put two of these up here, okay? So I'm gonna pull one and then put another one. I'm going to whoop, grab this one and rotate it around 180 degrees. You'll find that it snaps in place when you get exactly flipped which is very, very, very helpful. And then I'm going to just slide these both down here. They're a little bit big, so I think I wanna take them down a little bit. Yeah, because they're taking up quite a bit of space. I probably wouldn't have a lot of space for text. So I'm gonna make them just a little smaller, and I wanna try and get them both about the same size. I'm gonna line them up, and then I love that it gives me those nice lines to show, yes, these are the same size, they're lined up, perfect. So, drag these. And I wanna get them close to centered in the space. Again, you have to pay attention to the, the wrap area. So you'll see I've got a little too much space here compared to this side, so I'm gonna slide them that way a little bit. And just eyeball it. And then it shows me when the two of them are lined up. And then I'm going to go to the text. And I don't remember what text to use on here. <laughs> I love making up names for, for templates and things. It gets a little fun sometimes. So let's see. Williams. So I'm gonna start with our last name because it's gonna kind of be the focal point of the text area here. And I wish I could remember which Font we use. I think it might have been this one. But I'm just going to play around. So if you're making it for yourself, you can play around and pick a font that you love and then just slide it into the center here. The text box here is a little bit wide. So I'm going to take it and make it a little skinnier and then slide it into the center. So it's telling me that it's centered horizontal, uh, horizontally, side to side with the two little laurel leaf pieces until I click it and drag it out of place. 
And then I'm going to add another empty text box. It's going to keep the same text as before, but we're going to actually change that. And this one I want to say Will and Amy, or rather Will plus Amy. And because that one is a fairly scripty font, we're going to pick one that's a little more blocky. It gives a nice contrast and adds some interest. So I'm going to make it quite a bit smaller. And then again, I want to make the text box itself skinnier so that it will fit on this corner of the canvas. And then I'm just going to center it basically where I want and do one more text box. Again, it's going to keep the same one as before, which in this case is very handy. And then we're going to put a date. So you could put the full wedding date or you could just put established 2015. Very, oop, didn't want to click a picture. Very, very quick and easy. Again, we could put a full date if we wanted to, but it is the same font and size as the names, which visually frames the last name there. So it gives a nice look between the two laurel leaves. It's very simple, very easy. And then I'm just going to preview it, to see, okay, have, if the wrap area looks nice and if the, this is pretty close to centered, I think it looks pretty nice. Very easy, save it. And when it's done thinking, then we add to cart. Super easy as that. I love how quickly you can do things in Snap to Finish. So it's asking you just to make sure that there is, there are no spelling or grammatical mistakes and your pictures are displayed correctly how you would like them. So things like the faces here on the front of the canvas not being wrapped, and it's gonna put it in the cart for you ready for any other projects you might add along with it to order. So I love how quick and easy that is. Sorry, Stacy, I'm gonna go over your time a little bit. I hope you uh, are okay with that. <laughs> you go for it, you're just fine. Okay, let's see. So let's hop over into Heritage Makers just so that we don't take too much of Stacy's time. Now, I wanted to show a couple of things. So really quick, we're gonna open up a canvas just so I can show a little bit of the difference between designing a canvas in Snap to Finish and designing one in Heritage Makers. So this is a 12 by 12 canvas. I'm going to click here to begin. If you guys have any questions or if there have been any, anything that would like to be shown or shown again, please let them know in the questions and Lisa or Stacy will point it out to me to show again. Okay, so if you pull up a 12 by 12 canvas in Heritage Makers, this is what it looks like compared to the one we were just in in Snap to Finish. So you'll notice these pink bars here are just like that space in Snap to Finish that we just saw. So instead of the cropped out corners, we've just got these nice colorful guidelines that show you the same thing. And if you read the design guide on any of these projects, especially if you're in it for the first time, it'll just tell you and acquaint you with each of what each of those spaces are what each of the colors mean. So the pink area will be the sides of the canvas and the gray and the white will be wrapped around the back. So again, there's gonna be a little bit of leeway because with either of these, they are hand wrapped and so it may shift a little bit side to side or top to bottom. So just be careful to keep your important text or faces away from the wrap area if you don't want them to get wrapped around. So I just wanted to show how to do a single photo on a canvas in Heritage Makers. So we don't have the nifty drop a picture in and have it fill the same space, but it makes it so that you can tweak it a bit and make it exactly how you would like. It makes it very easy to do that. So I'm going to take a picture. Let's see, we've got a square canvas. So I want to pick one that'll look nice on the square. Let's use one of these that we did for those large canvases. So I'm just going to grab an edge and make it larger. Now I actually want to crop it to be kind of square. So if I were to keep pulling this, then it's going to fill the space, but it's going to have those, those really wide edges. So you'll notice the rubber bands on this. On a canvas, there's a bit of give, if you, if you would, um, in the definition. So you can actually comfortably go into the yellow a little bit with a picture and have it still be perfectly clear on the canvas. You're not going to notice because of the texture of the canvas. So with any of our paper products, you will want to make sure to keep your picture in the green with the border here. If you stretch it much into the yellow, orange, or red, it will be most likely quite blurry. It's just trying to help you keep your picture at its optimum resolution. So this one, even if I were to do it right here, with this right here, this is going to be on the back of the canvas, 
so it should be okay, but it is better if you can make your picture go all the way to the edge. That way, no matter what, you won't have any white spaces on the edges of your canvas, any of the visible space. It just gives you that full bleed area. So again, if I want to make this square, I'm just holding down shift while I slide these in and it's cropping the picture. You'll notice it's making them look quite tall and skinny. So I'm gonna lock that and go back to my picture and then just drop this into the drop photo here to swap box there in the middle. So that's showing up because it is locked. That's the pink border. You do want to be careful if you drop in a picture while it's locked, you will not see the color of the border. So it helps to unlock it just to see what the color is. Make sure you're not into the red and going to have a very, very blurry photo. For example, if you tried to do a large canvas with a picture from Facebook or a phone picture that may not be the highest quality, you're probably going to have a blurry picture when you receive the canvas. So please, when you're printing a larger product, make sure you're checking the resolution. The same thing is true for snap to finish. It will give you a notification saying that the picture is not high enough resolution for the size of the project you're working on. So just be aware of that. Now, if I wanted to do a picture that's probably gonna fit a little bit better on this canvas, visually, <laughs> since it's a square picture, they fit on here a little better. It's not as close. So again, another thing to be aware of, just pay attention to what it's going to look like when it's finished with the face area here. And that'll give you a nice indication. I'm clicking save to make sure that it updates the thumbnail here. I mostly do that because my house is in the middle of nowhere and I have not the best internet reception. So it helps to just give it that kick to update the thumbnail there. Now I wanted to show one other thing in Heritage Makers. Sorry if I'm moving fast. <laughs> Please let me know if there's something you want to see again or if you have a question about. I'm just going to hop into the template gallery here and show you several of the new templates that are in there and how to update from one of them. So like I said, there are these new fun state templates. I'm actually going to show you how to do one of those really quick. Lots of fun word art. These are the two wood prints, the two types of wood prints that I was showing in the pictures before that we swapped out with the canvases. So these are wood prints that will give you that nice, natural, light wood finish. They just have a white background, but it allows you to see the natural wood when you receive them. These two have a wood background on them, which will print over the natural wood and make it harder to see the natural wood. It gives it a little different color than this, if you remember from what I showed you. So it gives it a little bit different color because it's not printed on white like a paper product but then the white area will have that natural finish. So there's the, the distinction between the two of those again, next to a canvas with a patterned white background. So wood prints are absolutely so much fun to add a little bit of texture and uh, add a little bit of difference to your, your layout on your wall. So there's lots of fun different photo layouts. Again, if you take lots and lots of pictures, for example, these are a massive canvas. These are 24 by 36 inches. They are very large. And this has 77 square photo spots. When you see them, because the canvas is so large, this is actually a very decent sized picture. It's not too small that you're going to have a hard time seeing it, but it allows you to put a whole bunch of fun pictures in there so that you can sit there and stare at the wall and enjoy looking at all of these different pictures and reminiscing about all of the fun adventures that you've had as a family. So lots of fun there and really easy to do. Lots of fun, different canvases and decor items, kind of that we showed in the, in the uh, slideshow at the beginning. I'm just gonna show you how to do one of these fun state prints, really easy, because sometimes it's hard to see the, the states that are shown or see a template as it's shown and not think about how you can change it. So these you might think, oh, well, I don't live in that state. So obviously that one won't work for me. But let me show you how easy it is to change up the state on here to make it work for you. So this one is a horizontal layout. So this will work for the wider states. If you live in a taller state, maybe Florida, you might want to choose the vertical layout that will give you space for a taller state. So all I'm going to do, it open this up, I'm going to click on the state, and you'll notice it's just a white item there. And I'm going to right click and click open collection. 
and it's going to pull up the collection that these are from. These are actually a premier item, but we do have another state collection that also has Canadian provinces, and I believe that collection is basic, but you'll notice that those ones don't go quite as large. Uh, we might actually be able to tweak that, Stacey. Hadn't thought about that, but just to let you know, so this one is a premier collection. So I'm going to pick a different state. Let's see, something wide. Good grief, testing my elementary age geology. So I'll drop that one in there. Geology, geography, oh dear, it is late. Okay, I'm going to remove the crop on this because you'll notice it's cutting off a little bit of the top and bottom here because this one is shaped a little differently and the box is a bit different sized. So I'm going to remove the crop and then I'm going to rotate the box a little bit just to square it off so that the top and bottom are fairly straight. If you prefer it to be more map accurate with the sides not being perfectly straight, that's perfectly fine. Leave it however you would like. Personally, I like having the straight edges. It makes it a little easier for me to look at. So all I'm going to do is rotate a little bit. I think I'm going to check to make sure it's centered. So I'm going to page and then align middle and align center. And yep, it's still centered from where I had it before. And then I'm just going to click this text box and hold down shift and click these four alphabet letters. I'm going to unlock them. They have a pink border, which means they are locked. I cannot move them. So if I unlock them and then click one of these, it's easier to click the text box. If you tried to click one of the alphabet letters, you might miss. So always better when you're aiming for something like that to click the, the wider, easier to grab items. I'm not sure where I want to place this on here. I think this bottom corner over here. You can have fun. You could place it exactly in the middle if you want or pick a corner or wherever it fits best on your state. Some are a little harder than others. If you wanted, you could change the text in here. You could say home is wherever I am with you instead of wherever we are together. So you could change it however you'd like. If you wanted to change out these alphabet letters, if you maybe don't like the gold, however you wanted, or even the background paper. So for example, if I would rather go into a collection here and say, Oh, you know what? I really like this plaid. I think I'll drop in the plaid. Oh, it's a little hard to see because it makes it harder to see in these areas. Maybe this fun navy blue polka dots. So whatever you want to make it match your home decor, really easy to change it out. You could even change the color of the state here if you wanted. So play around with it, make it your own, and don't see a template for exactly what it is, but think about what you can easily do to change it if you don't like it exactly how it is. So if it's not completely what you would do, but you could see yourself going, oh, okay, but I could do it with a lighter color background, and that might be something that would look good in my home. So see something for the potential of what it is. Don't look at a template and think, oh, well, that's not perfectly what I want, so I'm not gonna use that. See the potential and know that in Heritage Makers and even in Snap to Finish, it's really easy to create something that you will love. Even if you use a template as a starting point, so you're not designing from scratch, just enjoy what you make and make something that you will enjoy. So that is all I have for the digital side now that I've run into Stacy's traditional time. <laughs> but I can't wait to see what she has to show. Sorry, starting my video back up again. And if you will share it back to me, that would or make me the host, that would be lovely. There you go. I clicked stop share, so it should be coming back to you. Did something pop up? No, that was sharing my screen. Hang on, let's see. We'll get the hang of this eventually. You want you, not your phone, correct? You want me to, yes, make me the host, Stacy. There, there you are. Okay, and then I can turn on my phone's video. There we go. Which... Well, while we're switching everything over, let's give away um, some additional points. So we're going to give points away to uh, L. Cooley One, sorry, I'm not sure who you are. L. Cooley One, you 
have 25 Heritage Makers points. Uh, if you will message um, Lisa E, your account number, she'll get those in for you. Okay. And I'm now 